Intel gathering, Civil War style. John, for anyone who thinks that map making is dull work, uh, you, you sort of have the argument against that right here. Tell me what, you, what this is. This little book is a sketchbook that was prepared by Jedediah Hotchkiss, who was a topographical engineer for the Confederate forces in the Valley of Virginia. And he was under General Stonewall Jackson. So he rode around scribbling down these sketches uh, of the landscape, and this was information that uh, the, the Confederate Army actually needed, right? Well, and consider Stonewall Jackson was known for his lightning raids, the precision of his raids, the exactness of information about the terrain he was traveling over. Where do you find that information? It's right here. And to top it off, this is information that he's compiling that he then transfers to a much larger piece of paper. So this was, all this was his field notes. Field notes. And then he took them all and synthesized them into a big a master finished map. Product, a finished map. It's really amazing that he did a lot of this on horseback. Yes. He actually points out in his yes. note, the colored pencils used were kept in the places fixed on the outside of the cover. Which is right here. And that's these little pockets right here. Yeah. What kind of scale are we talking about when we look at one page here? Well, it can be uh, one inch to about a mile one inch to a half mile in, in many cases. So we there. might be looking at maybe four miles here, four, five, six miles, at something best. like that? At best. Okay. Yeah. Some people are crazy enough to actually wear his work on their necktie, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right about I've that? I've heard that happens every now, once in a while. Now, what kind of person would do that, John? I don't know, some nut who probably went out to win. Oh, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> you really <laughs> like maps. So, John, we saw the notebook of sketches that Hotchkiss made as he rode around gathering information. How did that turn into this? Well, if you notice the first thing on this large map, which extends from Stanton, Virginia, all the way up here to Winchester, Virginia. This is the part of the Shenandoah Valley. If you notice there's a heavy grid line all the way across the map, he would transfer that data and pop it into each one of those grids and eventually this entire map would come out. And we're leaning over this map that Stonewall Jackson looked at. Yes, same way Stonewall would have leaned over it too, I'm sure. I'm John Hebert, Chief of the Geography and Map Division, Library of Congress.